Hello again, once again. Welcome to another multimeter tutorial. This one is the upgrade called the 287, as you can see, True RMS multimeter from Fluke. Now, as before with any multimeter, we're going to measure AC volts, and I wanted to show you something. What's the first thing we always do? You see other videos that tell you measure the voltage. Before that, you always have to do something. <clears throat> Calibrate the leads. You always have to short them together and make sure you have a good reading. In this case, we have roughly 0.2 volts, 0.1 volt. That's exactly what we want. We want this to be, see, it doesn't. the numbers don't move around. That means the leads are good. If the leads are broken internally, you're going to get inaccurate voltages. Are you going to chase it? You don't know what the problem is going to be. Either your circuit, always start the fundamentals of calibrating your your multimeter first always on ohms and shorting them together we're going to measure ac volts i want to show you something about this now <clears throat> you've seen other meters even the old one you see the the you see the numbers fluctuating the numbers are fluctuating because like i specified before there are signals in the air from the lights and everything, it's these are being this is like an antenna. It's picking up those signals, and it's giving you this voltages, small voltages. If you want, first you make sure you short them again. Make sure I go to zero volts for AC, just like ohms. I'm gonna put this in an outlet, and then you're gonna see. Now we know we should measure 120 volts AC, as you can see, AEC, correct? Now, for this, there's something called minimum max, and you've seen it in other meters, other videos. But this, with this one, I like this function more, and I'll show you why. Here's the button for minimum max. I put it on minimum max. <clears throat> now look at the display. All of them show up at one shot. With the other meters, you cannot do that. You'll either have the display for minimum or for maximum. Here you have all of them. <clears throat> Even now, I'm measuring 123 volts AC, as you see over here. Now, it tells you the maximum is 0.68 and the minimum is 0.59. <clears throat> now, what's the average? 123.63. And every time it keeps on looking, see the light going off over here? See, <clears throat> now it reset itself and it's going again to look for minimum maximum. See how it's changing over here? This is why I like this type of meter. And I'm gonna, I'll use this under the hood when I do the videos so you can understand. But this is a beautiful meter to have this right in front of you. So if I want to measure the voltage at cranking, it'll show me the maximum, it'll show me the minimum. So if I crank, if the voltage on the battery is 12.6 volts, I'll see it as the maximum. After I crank it, let's say it goes down to 10.6, I'll see the minimum is 10.6. That's why I like to have everything over here. It's a beautiful meter. Now, other functions that you can have <clears throat> when you go to this there's a menu as you can see over here there are certain functions specifications that you can come to with this we come over here we can move this this volts AC relative and it gives you the relative peak over here and you see these change whatever i select over here is what's going to come up here in the menu if i go over here hertz this is what's going to come up here and by pressing the one that's underneath this some sub menu i call it that's the one that's going to be so in other words let's say i go over here hertz i want to see the frequency that's the frequency and look at the other beautiful thing not only does it tell me the, the frequency, it gives me also the voltage, the RMS voltage at the same time.
so I could do both at the same time. Before, the meter that I had only gave you either this on the display or the, this one on the display. This gives you both at the same time. Go back to menu. What else is there? Frequency? Percentage. Remember I spoke to you, since it's a varying sine wave, so positive is equal and negative is equal, and you, see, you almost see that by this. Look what happened to the frequency. The frequency shifted over here now. Remember we had frequency, AC, right? Now we have pulse with time, duty cycle, they call it duty cycle. And we have the frequency. Let's go to this one. Now it's on the negative. Before it was on the positive, positive. Now it's on the negative edge of the sine wave. Go back to menu. These are, if we go back here, go back here. We go back to volts AC. You see volts AC. Relative, let's do relative. Now, when you're a little off, the duty cycle when you're off by something, let's say there's something on the leads or something, it'll give you the relative up here. So what you're actually measuring is this. Let's try ohms. Here, let's try ohms. Okay, this is ohms. Again, this is ohms. Let's try to get a good picture. Okay, we said... On ohms, we measure this. We measure this, right? So we have something on the leads. We have 0.15 ohms or 0.2 ohms on the lead itself. So when I measure, let's say a resistor, a low ohm resistor, I have to take that 0.1 ohm into consideration that I'm losing it, that this is adding 1.5 ohms to the circuit that I'm measuring. Let's go to menu. The menu, now you see over here, beeper, ohms, here, ohms, this is ohms, menu, Relative, let's go to relative. Let's go to relative. Relative. <clears throat> let's look at relative. Now. Now relative will give you the reference. So in other words, let's say I measure something. 0.15 ohms. This will subtract that value and will give you the real value of what you're measuring. So, so in other words, it will take into consideration already the 1.5 ohms that is being added in the circuit. And when you measure something, you'll be measuring only the value of that component. So keep that in mind. That's only for low value resistors. Let's see something else. Now, when I wanna, I wanna hold something, right? I wanna measure something, right? I wanna measure, let's say, volts uh, DC or something. It's gonna hold it. That means the last digit that you measured is gonna put in memory. Let's try it with volts AC again. And I have to lay it down, I know, because the holder is not there for it. So let's go back to volts AC, see the functions of it. Okay. Now, let's put it on. We put on minimum max before we said, right? Okay. Now, let's take this off. Put on hold. Okay. Let's put on hold. The last number that I had, 
that's the one that's going to put a memory. So in other words, what I like about this is, you, let's say I just probe something and I take it out. I'm in the outlet. Look, I just took the probe out of the outlet. This is the number. It still holds it in memory. What a beautiful thing, isn't it? So in other words, as a memory, what, let's say I'm uh, for automotive. I'm touching a, a place, whatever it is, and it's a hard place to get into. There's pulleys, there's belts. I just want to tap it and let go with the probe. Put on hold and bang, it'll hold it. I don't have to keep holding it there if it's a dangerous place or unsafe place. That's a beautiful thing to have. Okay, now, there are so many things over here, it's unbelievable. Unbelievable. Let's go back to volts AC. You'll see over here, we did this already. Okay, let's go to DC, let's say. You have a menu over here. Volts DC. With the volts DC, let's say I want to measure the alternator, as we'll use in the video. Alternator has, we know, DC volts. But also, the alternator ha is an AC generator. AC generator means it had an AC voltage, but it was converted or rectified by diodes. I can measure both. I'm going to put on a volts DC, and I'm going to measure AC. So if I go to the to the to the menu, I'm gonna measure whatever the alternator output is over here, and I'm, I'll show you in the video. Just to introduce the, the this whatever the alternator output is. If it's 14 volts, your alternator output, it's gonna tell me how much the volts AC also is out of that alternate output. It should be very very low, otherwise there's a problem. So anyway, I hope this was informative. A tutorial for the new one that came out this is the old one obviously this is the old one that i have over here this is the the new one this is up in price but anyway as technology changes that's what you need so again this gives you two displays at one shot if we go over here this is the ac now the dc is up here the ac is over here if we change it, now we have the AC up here, we have the DC over here. But it shows you both at one time. Let's try that again. DC, DC, AC. Okay? That's what's available. So anyway, I'm going to make a, a video using this so you understand, hopefully. And please go to my channel, Joe Electronics Schematics for Auto. There are many, many videos on multimeters. Go to my other channel, Automotive Electronic Schematics for Joseph. I need about uh, 300 hours viewed. So, anyway, help me try to get out. You see, we don't use fancy, fancy equipment in this channel, right? It's like, it's like the poor man's channel. We don't use scanners, $4,000 scanners, because it's too confusing and it's too technical to the viewers, and it'll, it'll just confuse them. I use the simplest that I can. That I can. Anyway, thanks for watching.